Let's talk about the dangers of healing, specifically the word healing. Like when I was sick for nearly 40 years, healing had so many rules, regulations. It was like a really difficult chore. It was an impossibility for my mind to accept. So welcome, I'm Sam, and let's dive into this head trash today. The head trash around the word healing healing. So like I said, I was sick for a very long time with multiple sclerosis and a bunch of other stuff for nearly 40 years and no health issues today. So this is what I have learned through that experience that I'm working with other people. If you tell them to heal themselves, it's almost impossible. Most people cannot heal themselves per se. Because they're so focused on healing and the rules, the rituals, the routines of healing that they don't actually heal. And one of the other principles as well is what you focus on expands. So in other words, like if you're focusing on like my hand isn't working properly and you give all your attention to a hand not working properly... It amplifies that. It causes it to stay in place because the universe is always saying yes to us. Ah, hand not working well. Let's keep that going because that's where you're directing your energy is into that there's something wrong. If you told me to go heal myself, it would have been impossible. Like I said, I had all these rules about what healing meant. And I was had, always brought into the story of as well that you can't cure multiple sclerosis. You can't cure bipolar. You can't cure arthritis. All these stories that we hear from our own mind and the mind of other people. But you can research this and you will have, you will find people that have overcome bipolar, multiple sclerosis, arthritis, whatever it may be. Because the real us is beyond any of those definitions. But we really need to examine this head trash. And the way I healed myself wasn't by focusing on healing. I was focused on inner peace. And I discovered for myself and other people as well that peace is the real energy of transformation. So we want to forget about all these mental stories. All this noise, all this blah, 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 because it has all these rules, restrictions, limitations. So we want to simply forget about all of that and realize that we are beyond any of those words, any of those descriptions, and realize that we are peace itself, that we are perfect spirit, soul consciousness, not attached to any of these labels. Sure, some people can heal themselves by focusing on healing, but boy, is that a hard road. You can do it, but it's very, very difficult. And very few people have actually accomplished healing themselves by focusing on healing because they had to go through a lot of, lot of stuff, a lot of head trash, saying, oh, that part isn't true, that isn't true, that isn't true, and start pulling out all the associated head trash around the word healing. But I I know there's an easier way. Yeah, you can plow straight ahead into healing, but it's going to be a lot more work, a lot more difficulties, if you will. But we really just have to go to the root of who we are, to the place of peace, of unity, of spirit, soul, consciousness, and realize that peace is the energy of transformation. So eventually, if you're focused on healing, you'll eventually get to the place of peace and healing at the same time. Because peace is an integral piece of this. But why try to accomplish two things at once? Why not just focus on that one, that state of peace, of grace? And to make it really, really simple. To realize to be at peace means to be here in this moment. And the mind does not really understand what being here in this moment is. 
The mind believes that it can multitask as well. But can you read on one side of the body and write on the other side? No, you can, you can switch tasks back and forth, your head flipping back and forth really quick, but you can't do both at once. Once again, the mind is a trickster. It has you believing things that are not your truth because your truth is beyond these words. So we just need to realize that if we're focusing on healing, there's a 99% chance you won't heal. Maybe it'll be one in, one in the hundred, one in the thousand, one in 10,000 that breaks through by pulling out their head trash as they go along this journey. But I say there's an easier way. Just go right to the source of remembering who you are, perfect spirit, soul consciousness, that we don't want to get attached to words because words will just keep us stuck. And trying to figure things out will also keep us stuck. But when you're in a place of spirit, it's just one step at a time. They don't need to worry about the outcome. Or as they say in the Tao, you know, focus. No, it wasn't the Tao. It was the Bhagavad Gita. Yeah, the Bhagavad Gita is focus on the task at hand. And don't worry about the fruit of your labor. So just doing your best in this moment and the outcome will take care of itself. I had no concept that I would heal, that I would no longer need medicine, a cane, that life would return to normal before disability, mental and physical. But I did this by relaxation. So here's a simple practice that I did to realize the mind's thinking it's going into the stories, the blah, blah, blahs. What spiritual teacher used to call it the blah, blah, blahs? Who was that? But I think it's really descriptive, but I like to call it head trash because we can throw out the head trash. It's something tangible because the thoughts have lots of power and usually harmful power. So we want to throw out that harmful stuff that you're not good enough, you're not worthy, you're not deserving. That's just nonsense. It's head trash. Throw it out. So here's a simple process to throw out your head trash. When you realize the mind is thinking and you really don't notice your feet here in this moment that you're sitting, that you're listening, that's an indication that you're in your thoughts, that you're in your story, that you're in the past or your future guessing. So when you realize, I don't know where my feet are, I don't realize I'm sitting, ah, I lost this moment, you just come back to feeling your feet on the ground. You realize you're sitting, standing, whatever it may be, and you just keep bringing it back uh, in the mind, we bring it back in the mind, bring it back. Every time you bring it back, putting more gaps into the thought stream, the more gaps, the more inner peace. We can really simplify this by focusing on the main outcome we want is peace. We don't need to focus on healing because we have to go through lots of mud, lots of story, lots of stories to pull that stuff out. So we can take the easier path. But the mind usually lacks the complex, thinking this has to be difficult. And it is difficult if you're relying on others for your truth to realize that you live in this body, you know it the best. So why are you depending on others to correct whatever issue is in your life? If you need to see a teacher, they're just here to help you clear that head trash and help you remember who you are. So you need to ask yourself, are they adding to your head trash? Are they subtracting to your head, tra head trash? That's the thing you need to ask when going to a coach, a healer, a mentor, whatever it may be. Are they adding to the mental noise, the head trash? Are they helping you su subtract that noise and trust your own insights, your own wisdom, your own truth? That's the question. All right. Well, take good care of yourself. 
and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.